I'll do another video here, you guys. I know I probably won't be boring with the beautiful scenery, but uh, good boy, Ash. You're my handsome. Asher did awesome again today. <laughs> he's a good boy. And they just went, he's a little tired now because they were running, but look at Daisy, you guys. Oh my God, she's so bad. And uh, so I want to tell you guys what Daisy just did, which for those of you who don't know, is pretty, I don't want to say typical of a Stafford, but I will tell the story of when we went to go get Shaq. I almost backed out of it because the mom was such a maniac, like a true Tasmanian devil, like Daisy. And so today, the guy came from the Airbnb to help me fix the TV. Look at the beautiful scenery while we're doing this, too. Um, anyway, and uh, Daisy, she just lost her mind. And she'd been at the show all day with people paying attention to her. And before I forget, i got to come back to how great Asher did. But anyway, didn't she, Ashy? But the point is, is Daisy, she went berserk with this guy. And she was just jumping up. And I tried to teach him the day before to not give attention. So he was just standing there even. But it didn't matter. She persisted. Nevertheless, she persisted. Okay, wait, Dookie, stay. I know you. There's no doubt she's going to be a good boy, Ashy. Wait, wait, wait. There's no doubt she's going to be a great. Show. Uh, uh, Ash, come on up here. Come on. Uh, great show dog because, yeah. So then he leaves. I had to finally put her out on the porch here to let her go eat her food, which you can see the porch is right up there. It's such a great view. Um, anyway, it's a fully enclosed porch. I put her out there to try to eat. But as soon as he left, she went racing through the entire Airbnb, didn't she, Ash? Just looking for him. Catch it. Oh, almost. Ash is really good at catching normally. Um, anyway, she went racing through the entire Airbnb just looking for the guy. And I mean like a maniac. Panting, racing, looking under things into every room she could go, guaranteeing that she was going to find this guy that left her before she could get her proper attention. Stay, Ashy. Let me show how beautiful you look. Good boy. Anyway, yeah, if I don't kill myself walking back on these cavernous rocks, but look at my handsome Asher. He's almost too unbelievable to be true, aren't you? But he did so good today. He got another terrier group four. He's just cleaning up in the group placements and beyond what I could have ever expected. And I'm thrilled. And then he got an owner handled group two also, which means of all the owner handled terriers, he got the two, but even with the professionals included, he got another four. And a lot of times today wasn't the case. I was really happy for the sweet lady, by the way, who was also, I think, an owner handled, but she has done it more and she, uh, good boy, catch it. Oh, good catch. Good boy. Here, these are dookie. Yes. You think this better than your stick? Perfect. Watch it. Daisy's getting good too. Watch, watch, watch. Wait, Daisy. Yeah, she's a good boy. Anyway, um, she also won. I think she won the Terrier group, which is great. It's great to see a judge who really doesn't place that way. Although I will admit this was a much less competitive group, or at least competitive in terms of big, big names, owner hand or professional handlers, which is what I have in California all the time. And lately we've even been doing well there, which again, I'm bragging right now. And I don't mean to brag because, but I am just super proud of Asher because he really does. When you read the standard, he really meets the standard. You will have your critics always. And what people say is he's too much dog. Like, but he's certainly not like bully. There's no, anyone that says that is just wrong. I mean, look at the tuck up. He's got a beautiful, beautiful balance. His body, his angles, they're all very balanced, but he is a little bit deep and wide. But what does our standard say? A deep, wide dog. That's what they ask for. So no one complains about the let's say 70% that you're seeing out there that aren't deep and wide anymore. I mean, I know and I understand that in the 80s, the extreme went a certain way, which they're trying, we are trying to avoid. And I mean, certainly I'm not going to, I would like to breed for just maybe a little less, not width. He's got beautiful width and rib spring and all of that, but maybe a little less depth of the chest. But again, I mean, if I had to err, my personal error, wait, wait, Ash, we're done now. He's just going crazy. I don't want to feed him that much. Would be to err on the side of uh, more depth and not less because I just don't think they look like a Stafford if they start lacking in that complete depth. Anyway, here we are. And again, one of my most beautiful places in the universe. And Henrietta, thank you for the rain prayers because I actually think we may be getting some. Um, and I think I already told you all how excited I was to see the crab in the water. But, oops, watch out, Daisy. 
good time to turn this off. My battery's running low and Daisy's crazy.